going on y'all this is Brandon from 209 Euro today we're gonna be doing the full detail on this town and country and this I believe this this van hasn't been detailed in over a year so it's gonna get the full works and yeah man if you guys want to see my setup stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy it first things first what I like to do is I like to take out all the belongings to the client and I also like to take out all the trash and I separate them so yeah but since we're gonna get started on the wash first we're gonna go ahead and get our buckets filled about two years I've been doing this full-time for about six months bro um, and I believe I mentioned this to you earlier bro but I actually left my job a month ago and it was a full-time paying job and the reason why I left it is just because mo mostly it's just, I just wanted to take that that risk and gamble on myself you know roll the dice and see what I can become and right now is the perfect time man I'm 20 23 24 years old just turned 24 last week so man it, it's been it's been good so far it's been a blessing so yeah what made me want to start detailing was I used to have a white BMW, my very first car I've ever purchased with my own money. Yeah. And I just would always love to keep it clean, man. I would spend like three hours just washing it. And my family members actually started taking notice about how long I was taking. Yeah. And they were like, hey, you know, you should try to, you know, find, figure out a way where you can like make some money off of this. And for me, it was kind of like, man, I enjoy doing this. So if I do like decide to try to make money off of it, it will be kind of like, I'm not even working in a way, you know? Yeah. I'm just doing this for fun, bro. Sometimes I get lost, and I know I gotta hurry up, but I just get lost, bro, because I enjoy it so much, and I'll be taking like four, five hours on the detail, and it should only be like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, but. You yeah, gotta make sure you get every spot. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, bro. That's one thing I do, I do like to do before I leave. Check every corner, every crack from every angle, bro. That's good, you take pride in your work, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. I got my foam cannon right here, y'all. And usually, when I do my foam cannons, I usually like dilute it. But I've been trying this new, like, just using full-on soap instead of like adding water. You guys might think I'm crazy. I might be wasting soap. But the suds it creates is really good. Wait. So what do you do? I just fill it up with soap. Mm -hmm. I don't add any water. So it's just soap. And it's it actually, all soap. Yeah. This is just soap, and it's not a lot, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, y'all see how the sets will come out, so. This paint right here, it's been sitting for so long, as you can see, you, I can scrub it all I want, but those little black marks won't come out. So what I'm gonna have to do is spray a, a de paint decontamination. I'm not sure if they wanted me to do this, but that will be an extra upcharge right there. I always have that, that client that calls me, bro, and they're always like, hey, I need that full detail or I need the exterior or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, weekends is like where I get most of my bread, so. Yeah, so hit, them up for the, hit, me, hit you up for the weekends? Yeah, I'll be available weekends if y'all need it. Just let me know. <laughs> I have a bug and tar remover, so we'll hit it up with a sponge. Hopefully it comes right off. For sure. It looks like it will, so yeah, man. For sure. What's up, bro? What was that? Yeah, bro. So, you know, just a client, he drove by and he wanted me to detail his, the interior of his truck. Um, I gave him my prices and I gave him some cars. So hopefully he comes by and, you know, taps in with the kids, bro. For sure. 
be quiet. Yeah, man. More bro. money. More money, bro. More money, more problems, like they say, but it's good problems. <laughs> good problems. What are some struggles you're finding today? Today, I'm actually finding struggles with the interior. As you can see, it's really beat up, and I'm not sure exactly how much of the stains we'll be able to get out, but like I said, we'll definitely leave it looking better than what it was looking like, and it already is showing, so yeah, I mean, the stains are pretty much all over the place, bro. Headliner, seats, carpet. So, yeah, man, we'll see what we can do. What is that, like four customers that come up to me in the cars? For today? For today, bro. So it's good, man. It's good. It's good to have your advertisement, man. It does a lot of it does a lot of work, man. And you know, it's like you really don't have to do much. You know, mm. you just show up and people just see it and they want to be interested in that. Does that take time away from you when you're going out to another car? Um, it does a little bit, bro. But I mean, it's not too bad. Um, it would be nice to have someone else to like take care of that. Mm. But you know, if I could do it, man, I, I wouldn't mind it, bro. For I sure. Yeah. More money, right? Yeah, more money, more problems, bro, like yeah. we talked about earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I just wrapped up this interior detail, exterior detail as well on this Town & Country Chrysler. It took us about four to five hours, but as you guys can see in the footage, it was really bad. We got it done, and with the help of my guy Carlos here, man, we were able to get some good footage, man. So let's go ahead and, I don't know if you guys want to come check it out. Did a full extract, I did a hard vacuum, wipe down, disinfect, and steam clean as well. And like I mentioned earlier in the, in the video, you know, as stains stay on the fabric longer over time, they can't stick even with an extraction, but I mean, man, you look at the car now compared to how it was, it looks beautiful. Big turnaround. Huge. Yeah, so for example, like these stains here, I extracted them, I did about like four or five passes, but you know, over time, these stains will tint the fabric and they'll stay the color of the stain. So that's why I always say, keep your cars clean, y'all. There it is guys, we finished this full detail on this town and country. And if you guys want to follow more, you guys can follow me on Instagram, 209 Euro. My name is Brandon again, and make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for more content.